good evening. This is Hound Dog Steve coming to you on Saturday evening, the 5th of August 2017. And uh, here's an interesting little uh, double take. This was in the paper today, Saturday. This is uh, Elizabeth Renzetti. And uh, the headline is Donald Trump winning his war on reality. And she goes through all of the things that Trump is doing with the fake news and the bloody bloody blah, blah, blah and on the opposite page I swear to God I mean, you, you couldn't make this stuff up okay is uh, there you go and this is all about uh, a short while ago the Canadian government supplied the Saudi Arabian government with several billion dollars worth of armed vehicles called LAVs and uh, they had armaments on them and there was a big protest put up. This man here, uh, Daniel Turp, actually brought a lawsuit against the government of Canada for sending arms to a country that has a terrible human rights abuses history and also because he felt that these labs were going to be used on their own people. And sure enough, you know, not 10 months later, uh, Daniel Turp, seen in Montreal on Friday, says video footage and photos that recently surfaced, uh, which appear to show Canadian equipment being used by Saudi forces against the country's own citizens, are the evidence a federal court judge demanded in January. Okay, so, uh, and, and I, I really love the soft touch that the writer uses in this uh, particular story. You know, when, when, they, when they're dealing with Trump, they've got the boxing gloves on and they're punching hard. And it's all um, Saudi Arabia's apparent deployment of uh, made in Canada combat vehicles and alleged vehicles. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, I don't think. I don't think we're letting the cat out of the box by saying that, you know, Saudi Arabia regularly beheads those citizens that disagree with Saudi Arabian policy and laws, that women are not allowed to drive or be on the street uh, without a male escort. And uh, there was recently a woman who was beheaded because she was deemed to be a witch. And there was recently a woman who was beaten because she was raped and because she couldn't come up with three male witnesses uh, it was her fault that she got raped so they beat her for it I don't know how many lashes she got but um, this, this is a country that you should not be exporting arms to this is an oil rich country uh, they have an awful lot of armaments, state of the art armaments already and Canada that is a country that always brags about its human rights records, uh, that it stands up for the person who is the underdog, uh, the person who's in trouble. Canada has been an absolute leader in the landmine issue. And now all of a sudden, you know, this started under the Harper government and has continued and that Harper was a conservative and it's continued under the Trudeau government, with, uh, which is a liberal government, and Stefan Dion, who finally signed an, an, this deal uh, into being, uh, said that, um, that Saudi Arabia are our allies, and that they gave a firm guarantee that they would not be used on their own people. And so here we now have video proof that that is not the case, that they were lying all along. So, uh, who, uh, who, who's war on reality? This is a war on reality. To pretend to be fighting ISIS, to be fighting terrorism wherever it may be, but dealing with the home, uh, you know, if you believe the 9-11 uh, thing, the 21 um, hijackers, that were involved in this were all from Saudi Arabia. So that makes it a terrorist haven. So why are we still dealing with them? 
Anyway, I loved the little joke in the paper today. Here it is. Moral compass off. This just happens to be the Saudi arms sales, but I'm going to use this joke in my next video. That's right, moral compass off. Okay, so this is uh, Hound Dog Steve signing off, and um, we'll talk to you soon.